What is going on, everyone? Mike go back doing another box break. Today, I'll be breaking one hobby box of the newly released, brand new release from Panini 2024 Score Football. 40 cards per pack, 10 packs per box, 400 total cards. We're looking for three autographs in this box. You got throwback designs from 1989, 35th anniversary rookie dynamic inserts. So some hobby exclusive stuff here, ultra rare stuff. We'll see. Justin Herbert is the cover boy. So we'll see what we get in here. Uh, I think I heard something. I didn't get to see an advanced checklist, but I thought I heard people complaining online. There's no Caleb Williams. He might have a tops exclusive. I'm not sure. Football is going to be weird for the next couple of years. You have the uh, tops products coming out with no logos and you have these products coming out, missing certain players. So we'll see. I think you actually get four autographs. There we go. Yeah, it says it right in front of me, four autographs. So we'll see uh, how we do. Obviously, uh, just because you get an autograph doesn't mean it's uh, a high price card. Score is, I think 275 a box is what these cost. So a little up there for scorecards, but that's kind of the way Panini products are. Not that Topps products aren't pricey as well, and they certainly will be for NFL, but I don't know. 275 for score. I feel like this box should be more like 80 bucks, but we'll see how we do. Should have collegiate rookies coming out later than uh, previous years. There have been times where score comes out on draft day or sometimes the week uh, before or after the draft, but coming out right before week two of the season. So we'll see. How we do, basic score design. Terrell Davis is our first card there. Very basic design. Obviously a little helmet down there. NFL totals. We got DeAndre Swift as a bear. Guess it just has previous year stats. Cameron Jordan, 400 card checklist, I think. John Lynch, so. Continue with a mix of players from the past, like Phil Sims, current day players, Jamar Gibbs, Nick Chubb, Flowers, Charles Haley, Bryce Young, second year card, Jared Goff, Jim McMahon, Justin Herbert, Max Crosby. Do like to see a nice mix of players in there. Nice Andre Tippett. Mike Vrabel. I think I'd prefer to see the... Um, we got an interesting Bruce Smith there. Here's our first autograph. It's Jaden Reed, wide receiver for the Packers. Sticker auto. Gold foil serial numbered to 50. So Jaden Reed auto. And then what is this... Bruce Smith, we got a printing plate of Bruce Smith. One of one. That's pretty cool. Guess that's a blue printing plate. I mean, I'll take it. I know printing plates aren't exactly the most desirable of one of ones. I'm sure there's some people out there who collect them, but not as collected as they were when they first start coming out 20, 30 years ago. There's a Brian Thomas draft insert. Uh, Ray Lewis, Men of Canton, Justin Herbert, the franchise, some hot rookies, Troy Franklin, Dylan Johnson, Brock Bowers, Carson, Darius Robinson, Gabe Hall, Donnie Mitchell, TJ Tampa. And Bullard, Packers rookie. So we'll put them aside, toss this trash. Let's try and sort out the inserts and the rookies, get it all uh, stacked up for the end. All right, we'll get into pack number two. Fly through the base cards a little quicker here. Cool, Seth Joyner. Lawrence Taylor. Keyshawn, 
Barry Sanders. Josh Allen. Can't believe week two of the NFL, just like that, already just about here. This is releasing today. Uh, the recording of this is Wednesday. So next thing you know, Thursday night football will be here. I don't know if you guys love Thursday night football or not. I'm like into it in November. I just think right now it's always a busier time of the year. And then you still got baseball going on, which I'm a big baseball guy. So I I'd rather them start it a little later. Nice Moss, Brian Thomas Jr., Jordan Love. I'm not sure how big the uh, checklist is for rookies. This is J.J. McCarthy, unfortunately missing this first season. Kid Reporter, if anyone wants that, have at it. Brian Dawkins. I mean, I like basic cards, but I do think they could do a little better with score. I wouldn't mind them doing some of the old school score designs. I just feel like there's some ways, like I don't need this. I don't know, you could shrink in that up a little bit. I don't really need the foil type of stuff. And I'd probably prefer just the team logo there as opposed to the helmet logo, but I guess it's something a little bit different. An emerged insert of CJ Stroud. Marvin Harrison Jr. Nice Kurt Warner. Oh, Marshall Falk autograph. I don't know what that goes for. Um, sticker auto and such, but I mean, I'll take Marshall Falk, Hall of Famer. Again, on card is always better in my opinion, especially because then you don't have autographs going off the sticker, which this does in two spots, unfortunately, but you kind of know what you're getting with this product. You know, you're getting uh, sticker autos. And here are our rookies. Drake May. It's nice. I haven't really looked up anything from this product, so I don't know what anything is going for or anything like that. I mean, I assume base card Drake May is probably like just a couple bucks. Joe Thomas. Jake Elliott getting a card. Wesley Walls, not a card you're expecting to get in a current day product. Christian Gonzalez, Harrison Butker, loved by some, disliked by many others. Christian Okoye, is that going to be an auto? That would be awesome. No, blue parallel, number to 100. Beast on Tecmo Super Bowl. Najee Harris, Byron Murphy. Oh, I love that Ty Law. Perfect for the collection. It's a nice insert set. Like that's a fairly cheap insert, I'm guessing, and it'd be one of those sets that would be kind of fun to put together. Uh, Malik Neighbors. All right, there's our rookies, Kid Reporter, if you want to pause it and swipe it. I don't even know what you can do with it, but it is uh, going in the trash after this break. Uh, Nick Bosa and Jerry Rice, Darius Slay. Okay, Antonio Gibson photoshopped into his Patriots uniform. Johnny Manziel. I think you could go a little longer with uh, not putting him in a product. <laughs> I mean, that, that's probably the most interesting retired choice I've seen to this point. How long did he hang around? Three years? 
Frank Gore is a dolphin. AJ Brown. All right, we got a Christian Gonzalez, the franchise. JJ McCarthy insert. Arnold. All right, third auto is Brian Robinson Jr. for the Washington Commanders. Bo Nix rookie. Marvin Harrison Jr. rookie. Junior Colson. All right, so we still have five packs left. Moving on to the second half of the box. Taysom Hill. Old school Bucks uniform. Did they wear that last year? I guess that was last year they wore it. They brought it back. Ty Law. Cooper Cup. Travis Kelsey. All right, we've got a die cut. Josie Jewell, linebacker for Carolina. That is numbered 5 of 10. So that would have been a huge card if it was, you know, a top rookie. And it probably would have been pretty good if it was one of the more popular players. But that's probably not ideal. Acquired by the Panthers in a Denver uniform. So we'll put that to the side. Sweet Barry Sanders, Penix Jr., Derek Carr, McCarthy, some rookies. Let me know in the comments what you guys like. Do you like uh, later in the year products where you have guys in their NFL uniforms? That's personally what I prefer. But I know there are a segment of people, and they're a little less popular overall, but they actually like the rookie cards in the collegiate uniforms because they're big college football fans. Though we are getting more and more collegiate type of products, so I guess they theoretically are getting a little more outdated in that way. Eddie George would have beast. Jimmy Kelly. Dietrich Wise, Tony Baselli, Calvin Ridley is a Titan, it's an Eric Dickerson, Josh Allen, Marvin Harrison Jr. insert, Mitchell, and then our rookies, Frank Gore Jr., Joe Alt. Never know with the offensive linemen and stuff. You get some of those guys. I mean, granted, you got to hold it for a long time and it won't be all that valuable, but you get some of those guys who do end up being Hall of Famers and such. And they get a couple rookie cards and then not much after that. Kurt Warner, the running back. Boomer, Parsons, Dalton Kincaid, Ramondre Stevenson, Bo Jackson, uh, J.C. Latham, rookie. Stroud insert, uh, Neus Williams insert, Malik Neighbors, Jackson Powers Johnson, rookie auto. 
So a center for the Raiders. Probably not a pricey autograph. Penix. Keon Coleman. All right, final two packs. Doug Williams. Deshaun Watson. Oof. What a bad contract. What a bad trade. For what they had to give up, he has just not performed on any level. Anthony Richardson, second year card. And we got a Barry Sanders card here. Got a Barry Sanders. Men of Canton, Artist Proof, Blue Foil, number to 35. That's a cool one. Cooper DeJean, insert Brock Purdy, the franchise, sweet Zach Thomas, Parsons, and then our rookie cards. All right, final pack. Overall, um, no real complaints about the box. Seems like the uh, base has been pretty well mixed. Maybe a few duplicates, big stack of rookies, um, some decent inserts, couple parallels, four autos. I mean, one was a parallel, one is a Hall of Famer, so I feel like you could do much worse. Javon Curse. Warren Moon as a Seahawk. Zach Martin gets some little bit of offensive lineman love in this product. So weird seeing the Cardinals in a full black uniform. Brunel, Christian Watson, Tua. Right, Penix insert, Bijan insert, Alt insert, Ramondre Stevenson autograph, five autos. I'm a huge uh, Ramondre Stevenson fan too, so that's cool. Probably like a $15, $20 card, but I mean, that dude's good. Unfortunately, they're not very good, though they are 1 0. So at the time of this recording, first tied for first place in the AFC East but really good player. So those are our rookies. So what do you get in a box of score football? Well, you get plenty of base, which is a great product to build a set, binder it up. You get a good stack of base here. So you at least get some cards. It's always nice when you spend money on cards to actually get cards. So many products now you get like six cards for hundreds of dollars. There's a stack of base. Here is the stack of rookies. So a nice little st stack there. Inserts and parallels. Again, solid little stack. Get different mix. Some you get in every pack, others you don't. Did have a parallel number to 10. Had that Barry Sanders that was number to 35. That was pretty neat. So pretty solid. And then hit five autographs. No, yes, five autographs, and I did have the one-of-one one printing plate of Bruce Smith, and definitely could have done worse with that, too. I mean, Bruce Smith, Hall of Famer, one of the all-time sack leaders. So I had a Stevenson auto, which I love. Uh, Powers Johnson, Brian Robinson Jr., Marshall Falk, and then the gold foil to 50 of Jaden Reed. So overall, I thought it was a fun break. I thought I did fairly well. Listen, I don't know what the breakdown is. Ultimately, it's going to be tough in most of these cases to get your money back um, unless you do really well selling base and inserts early. So it's definitely possible, but I thought it was fun. I thought I did all right and uh, overall happy with it. Comment below. Let me know what you think of 2020 
for Panini Score Football, and I will talk to you next time. Have a great one. See ya.